Hello and welcome to the Teardown Multiplayer Scripting Tutorial. This series assumes that you're already familiar with Teardown Scripting. If you don't already have some experience, you should watch the earlier video series first. See link in the description below. In order to make a script compatible with multiplayer, it needs to be marked as a version 2 script. This is done with a special tag at the top of the file. Any script that isn't marked like this will be considered incompatible with multiplayer and automatically disabled in a multiplayer scenario. A version 2 script has special server and client tables that are used to express what should run on the server and what should run on the clients. Most game logic usually runs on the server, while overlay graphics and UI always run on the clients. Let's modify the script we made in part 5 of the scripting tutorial, which spins a wheel using a motorized hinge and makes it stop spinning when it breaks. For this to work in multiplayer, we need to specify that the code should run on the server. A version 2 script does not have the usual init and tick functions, instead it has server.init and server.tick. There's also client.init and client.tick. In this case, the only thing we need to change is to add version 2 at the top of the file and rename init into server.init and tick into server.tick. We also need to mark the info.txt file in the mod as a version 2 mod. The mod still works just the same way as before when started normally, but since it's a version 2 mod, we can now also try out the script by playing it with two players from the file menu in the editor. This will open two new windows side by side, where the left one acts as host and the right one as client. You can cycle between them by pressing the N key while playing. In many cases, this is the only thing needed to make a script work in multiplayer. We have designed the multiplayer scripting so that everything that runs on the server gets automatically replicated out to each client. Overlay graphics and user interface is an exception, since they depend on things that are unique to each client, like the screen aspect ratio and how each player interacts with UI. Therefore, the server table does not even have a draw function. If you want to draw overlay graphics, you need to do that from the client part of the script. Once you're done testing, you just select quit from the pause menu on the host. This will close down both windows and take you back to the editor. While you still can write mods and scripts the old way, we do encourage everyone to move over to version 2, so that multiplayer can be supported. In the next part, we'll create a jump pad that works with multiple players.